One of the possible things that we'll see at the LHC are signs of a new particle called the Higgs particle. Now, if this exists, it could explain why some other particles are heavy and some of them are light. We've observed a new particle. We see that it decays to two photons, for example, which tells us it's a boson. It's a, it's a particle with integer spin, and we know its mass is roughly 130 times the mass of the proton. And this, this is very significant. This is the most massive such particle that exists, uh, if, it's, if we confirm all of this, which I think we will. And, and that is very, very significant. This is something that um, may, in the end, be one of the biggest discoveries or observations of any new phenomena that we've had in our field in the last 30 or 40 years, going way, way back to the discovery of quarks, for example. We're very excited. I'm, I'm extremely tired at the moment, so I may not appear to be as excited as I really am, but uh, the, 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 the um, significance of this observation could be very, very great. It could be ultimately um, seen that its properties are very consistent with the standard model Higgs, or we may find out that some of its properties don't exactly match the expectations for the standard model Higgs. And if that's the case, then we have something really quite profound here. And it could be a gateway, if you like, to the next phase of, of exploring the deepest parts of, of the fabric of our universe, which is pretty profound when you think about it. Today's results is very important for ATLAS. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big award uh, for more than 20 years of have efforts by the international community. ATLAS consists of 3,000 physicists from all over the world. Today we announce a preliminary but very important result. Um, based on the data that we have recorded last year and also in the first uh, months of 2012, and thanks to the outstanding performance of the LHC accelerator and of the, of the experiment, we have been able to um, arrive at uh, an observation much faster than expected. This observation is a, is, a, is a signal at the level of five sigma, so it's a significant um, signal, uh, which could be due to the production and decay of the famous um, Higgs boson. Now, results are, are preliminary and will be firmed up in the next few weeks uh, until we publish them. After the publication, of course, this is not the end of the story. Uh, it's the beginning. We have to um, study the, uh, in details the properties of this signal to understand its nature, to understand if it is really the standard model Higgs or another Higgs boson or something else. So in some sense this result represents a, uh, the end of something and the beginning of a new era. I'm, I'm really happy and now we also know which direction to go for the future. But first of all, as I said, it's the beginning of a long journey to investigate all the properties of this interesting particle. Because it, if it has a spin zero, if it is a scalar, it would be the first fundamental scalar which we ever have discovered. We have not yet ever seen a fundamental scalar. And that could give a lot of hints on other questions beyond the standard model, and I think this is very, very important, and this is why everybody is not only excited about the discovery, everybody is also excited about the prospects this discovery opens for us, for the field, and for physics in general.